difficult as conditions are, the refugees here count themselves as the lucky ones. Besides the millions trapped inside Syria whose lives are at risk daily, 75,000 Syrians are stranded in the berm, a no man's land on the Jordanian border, including children, pregnant women, and gravely ill patients. They have had no food since early August. There is next to no humanitarian access. Jordan has been warning for years that they would reach a point where they on their own could do no more. The world has known about the situation in the berm for months, but no solution has been put forward. This is symptomatic. Hey. Hey. This is symptomatic of a wider problem. My message to world leaders is that as they prepare to gather at the UN General Assembly in 10 days, to ask the fundamental question of what are the root causes of the Syria conflict and what will it take to end it? And please put that at the center of your discussions. Thank you very much. Again, thank you very much, Billable. My sincere thanks both to Angelina difficult as conditions are, the refugees here count themselves as the lucky ones. Besides the millions trapped inside Syria whose lives are at risk daily, 75,000 Syrians are stranded in the berm, a no man's land on the Jordanian border, including children, pregnant women, and gravely ill patients. They have had no food since early August, there is next to no humanitarian access. Jordan has been warning for years that they would reach a point where they on their own could do no more. The world has known about the situation in the berm for months, but no solution has been put forward. This is symptomatic. Hey. Hey. This is symptomatic of a wider problem. So my message to world leaders is that as they prepare to gather at the UN General Assembly in 10 days to ask the fundamental question of what are the root causes of the Syria conflict and what will it take to end it? And please put that at the center of your discussion.